Another new feature to Windows 7 are the libraries, and the libraries are a collection of four types of folders, documents, music, pictures, and videos. How do you get to the libraries? Well, you can do it one of three ways. One way is to open up any folder that you have on your computer. For example, exercises, double click on that because over in the navigation pane, there it is, libraries. Click on it, it takes you right to the libraries folder. Let me go ahead and close out. The other two ways involve Windows Explorer. As you recall in the previous training video, when I come down here and hover over my pin folder to the taskbar, it says Windows Explorer. When I click on it, though, it opens up and takes me to the Libraries folder. Let me go ahead and close out. Same thing when I right-click on the Start button. There it is, Open Windows Explorer. When I click on it, again, same place, Libraries. Now, the Libraries is another element of exploring Windows or Windows Explorer. Just as we learned in the previous training video, Computer is an element. When you click on it, you can explore your computer and all the folders that are on your computer in a hierarchical format. Well, Libraries is another element. You could say it's the main element of Windows Explorer because when you click on Windows Explorer, it opens up the Libraries folder. So how do Libraries fit as a part of exploring your Windows or your computer? Well, as I mentioned, your Libraries is a collection of four types of folders, documents, music, pictures, and videos. But these can be used to help you organize and choose which of your scattered folders that you have throughout your entire computer will also show up here in one of these four folders. In other words, your folder containing your files will still remain in its original location, but you can make those folders and their files also appear in one of these four library folders. Why would you want to do it? Well, I've got the top three benefits. One is that you can actually group by category. So, for example, if I have documents that are called gummy bears, music gummy bears, picture gummy bears, when I type in the keyword to do a search gummy bears, I don't want to search throughout all these different categories. What if it's just a document that I'm looking for? Well, if I go ahead and group them and pull them all into the documents library, it makes my search a little bit easier. So that's one benefit. The second benefit is that you can actually sort and group within the actual library. So if I go ahead and I double click and open up the documents library folder, I have other folders here, but I can actually sort from A to Z or Z to A within the folder that I pulled into the library, and that will be separate sorting or grouping or arranging than its original folder that's found somewhere else on my computer. Let me come up here and click the back arrow. That's the second benefit, is to be able to do some sorting and arranging without affecting the original folder that's on your computer somewhere. Keep in mind, if you delete something that's within one of these libraries, you're actually deleting it out of the original folder. The third and final benefit is because the system automatically indexes these library folders, you'll experience fast searching and stacking based upon the file's properties. So each file has a set of properties that can help you search for that file, and we'll cover that in a later training video. Another way to look at this is that I just want to be able to pull some of my folders that contain documents within the documents library. You could say that they're my top important documents that I look at that I don't have to open up, several different folders, I can view it all within one. But first I have to add those folders containing those documents to my documents library, my music to my music library, and so on. You could say it's one-stop shopping. So again, I don't have to branch out and open up several folders. Once I add them to my library, it's just in one folder here. Now before I show you how to add folders and their contents to one of these four categories here in the libraries, I want to go over a little bit of history. As you recall in previous versions of Windows, they had a folder for my documents, my pictures. So whenever I saved a document, by default, it wanted to save it in the My Documents folder. Now the My Documents, My Music folders are here. They're just hidden, and there's two ways to get to them. The first way here, well, is in the Libraries. If you just go ahead and double-click on the Documents, there it is, My Documents. Or let me go ahead and click on the back arrow. Come over here in the Navigation pane, click on the arrow next to Libraries turns it down and it reveals well the contents of the libraries that you can see over here in the file list. Go ahead and click on the arrow next to documents, turns it down and there it is again, my documents, okay? Or turn down music, there's my music. That's one way. The second way is to come up here and double click on the computer. Come down here and double click on the main hard drive, the C drive. Go down to users, double click on that. I'm logged in or my username is training. Double click on that and there we go, my music, my documents, my pictures. Let me go ahead and close out. So if for whatever reason you save a document and you're like, oh, I'm not sure I saved it, you may want to check my documents. So to be able to add a folder to one of your library folders here, like documents, for example, you can do it one of a couple of ways. One way is to go right to the folder, and I can do it within this window here. For example, if I come up here and click on the desktop in the navigation pane, and on my desktop, there's the exercises. 
I can either right click on the folder and in the menu you see include in library when I hover over it I can come over here and say include in my documents that's one way or I can double click on the folder and as long as I don't select anything else within the folder here up on the command bar I get include in library when I click on it I can choose from the drop down list to include it in documents music pictures let me click off in a blank area if I select one of the files I can't include a file within the library only a folder and once the folder is pulled in well all the uh, files and folders within that folder get pulled in as well of course there's another folder you can right click on that and say include in library or select that subfolder and I again get that command up on the command bar so if I want to include the fonts in the library click on the drop down arrow say it's documents and you can see it's been added here there it is fonts on the C drive so I can come over here, click on Libraries, takes me to the Libraries, double click on Documents. There's my Documents, which is one folder that's been included, says one down below. Public Documents includes three items, one, two folders, and then the third, which is a file. And it looks like a uh, program file. I don't want to mess with it. And of course, if I come down here and I click on the arrow to scroll over, because my window's short, and I can see the remaining contents of my Documents library, you can see it pulls the Fonts folder over, gives me the address saying well I found this fonts folder or it can be found logged in under the training user on their desktop in the exercises folder and it's got a total of two files within the folder that it pulled over and there's the two fonts I can either you know navigate within the window here or I can come over here in the hierarchical structure underneath the libraries and there's well click on libraries takes me to libraries come down here click on documents reveals everything all the subfolders and contents of these documents including my documents, public documents, or fonts, which is the folder that I included. Now that fonts folder is not only within my libraries, it can be found within there, but let me click and drag this off to the side, double click on the exercises folder. It's also here my exercises folder as well. So watch what happens if I decide to organize the contents of the fonts folder within the libraries. See if it affects the contents within the folders of the exercises. Let me double click and open it up, okay? So if I come over here and I right click in this folder and I come down to sort by and I say well let's sort by instead of ascending by name let's do it descending so Z to A so this one comes first and notice when it's finished sorting HL V N C R G that's at the top but it doesn't affect my original folder but if I come in here in neither one of them and I delete it it will delete it from the other folder if I delete it from the fonts it deletes it from the libraries delete it from the libraries deletes it from the fonts so you just want to use it to organize and be able to pull all your content in and to arrange it in a way or organize it that works best for you. Let me come back here in this pane and in this window click in the navigation pane libraries come up here and close out of that window and bring our libraries back into full view. If I want to be able to remove a folder from the library because I no longer need it or I'm working on it or it's not important that I have it within my documents library I can go ahead and right click on it either in the navigation pane and come down here and remove it from the library or just double click and go into the actual library documents itself and scroll over and you can see it's there up here up at the top it says three locations if I click on it it opens up a window and it gives me the option of these three different folders pulling from three different locations documents from the well documents and this one's from the public and this one's from my desktop select it go ahead and click remove and by the way you can also click add here click on add of course you'll have to scour your computer to find what you want to add to the library what folder I'm going to go to the desktop select exercises click on include folder my exercises are now included click OK and there they are it includes not only the folder exercises which contains 13 items including the fonts folder but again all the files now notice that I added it to the documents library well I got more than just documents here I have pictures double click see there's the picture the smile I've also got presentations I got other things besides documents well these libraries are non-discriminatory in other words you can pull in anything it's just probably best that before you pull in the exercises folder or whatever folder you're pulling in that maybe you create another folder and just go ahead and sort your documents into that folder and call it your documents folder and then pull just that folder containing your documents into your documents library okay let me come back to my libraries here come back on top click on the libraries in the navigation pane 
You have four by default if you want to add additional libraries. Maybe you want two document libraries, one document's for business, the other one's going to contain personal. In any case, just come up here on the command bar, click on new library, adds it down below, go ahead and type in the name, we'll say it's personal, and then hit enter, and it accepts it. If you made the mistake and you typed in something that you didn't want to, you can of course right click on it, go down, left click on rename, then type in something else. When you're done, hit enter on the keyboard and it accepts it. Now what type of library is this? Well, doesn't look like a document, doesn't look like music, seems like it's generic or general. If you want to be able to change the type of the library, and the reason why is because, well, when you double click and open up the documents, you can have different headings up at the top to be able to sort by documents. For example, if I come up here and click on the more options and I go down to details, I've got headings that are proprietary to documents like name, date modified, type, where if I come back to the libraries, and go to let's say my pictures, I can change the uh, view here down to details and I get tags, size, rating. See that's different than documents. You don't rate documents, although I guess you could rate documents, but pictures, you know, if it's a nice picture, give it a rating. So when I come back up here and I click on libraries and I add a new library, and there it is, personal, how do I want it to display the items within? Are they going to be just strictly for pictures? In which case I do want the rating headings. Well to make those changes, just go ahead and right click on it and go down and left click on properties. And you can see that this library is optimized for just anything, just something in general. You can click on the drop down arrow and there are the other four. So if I want this to be documents, click okie dokie. It doesn't change the icon because you got the default documents, but now optimized for documents, meaning that I'll get those column headings when I'm in the details view for names. Well, double click on it. And you'll notice that nothing's in there because I haven't included the folder, but when I click on include a folder, let's do the fonts, select it, click include. Now there we go. The name, date modified type, the common things that you would look for in a document, okay? So you can see I got kind of a mess going on. I've got these additional libraries. Now again, if you delete the contents in here, you're deleting it from the original folder found somewhere on your computer. But if you just right click and you go and you remove it from the location, it doesn't delete it off the computer, it's still there. Click and drag. You're just moving it out of the library's folder. Double click, see the fonts is still there, okay? Close out, bring it back. I can right click on this library item and say delete. Yes, gets rid of it, so I'm back to my four here. One final note is that you can actually include folders that are on the home group network. And the home group network is something new to Windows 7 that we're gonna cover in our Windows 7 level two training videos. In other words, have you ever had a network that other people just threw a bunch of documents and junk on it, and you're like, uh, I just want to be able to pull in those folders that have those things that are relevant to me without having to look through the whole network? Well, you'll have to look through the network once to be able to find what folders are pertinent to you, but you can add them to your libraries without having to go back again to the network and go through all that again. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.